No! <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Guys, got some bad news from MLB today. MLB just informed the teams that they are planning to have no universal DH next year. They informed them to just plan on it. You know, we're probably not going to have DHs for the AL and the NL next year. And this sucks. I'm going to break it down a little bit right now. Just get into it. Just my opinions and thoughts on it. So if you like this video and baseball content, please like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and uh, come back to the next video. So let's get right into it. Um, Guys, I hate this. I think the Universal DH is very, very good for the game. I, I know there's a lot of guys that are more baseball purists or like small ball and stuff like that that might be excited. Might be like 20% of people that watch baseball. I don't know. I feel like there's a majority of people that totally love the Universal DH. Um, I feel like players got to love it because that gives a lot more jobs. It's 15 more teams that need an extra hitter. Guys like Marcelo Zuna, who's kind of just a DH only now. He could play the outfield, but not really good at it. Nick Castellanos, same thing, can play the outfield but is um, really benefited from being a DH on the NL team. And there's a lot more guys like that. Um, even Pete Alonso got some time off at first base last year for the Mets. Jesus Aguilar. Um, there's a bunch of guys like that. It can help people that just need time off or days off, older veteran guys for NL teams. I mean, I'm sure Goldschmidt took a couple of days at DH. I'm sure guys like maybe, I know Buster didn't play last year, but maybe Buster Posey could do that or play first and Belt could DH. There's just so many ways you can use your team. And um, I think it makes the game more exciting because it makes better hitters on the field at all times. One through nine can all hit. You're not facing a pitcher every two or three innings, whatever it is. And so I think it just makes it more competitive. You see more home runs. You see more base hits, more RBIs. Just, you know, pitchers pitching, hitters hitting. I think it's good for the game. I think the DH should be universal. I don't, I especially don't like it being split where half the league has it and half the league doesn't. I, I, I want it to be universal and I definitely want it to be universally a DH throughout the whole entire league. Um, Rob Manfred, yet again, man, it just sucks seeing him do stuff like this. I hated the three outs or facing three batters for a pitcher last year. I hated the extra runner. I didn't hate actually having the runner at second to start extra innings. I didn't hate that, but I still don't like it. I know they kept it out of the playoffs, so I liked that because I definitely think that would suck in the playoffs. But not in the playoffs, not as big a deal. Um, but yeah, getting back to the DH, man. I mean, baseball seemed more exciting when every team has nine hitters that can hit. And then like specifically going to the Braves, because I know this is the one that I see a lot come up on Twitter or the articles I've already been reading today from the Universal DH Talk. And they're, got, they're, they're a team that's already looking at two guys and going, we non-tendered Adam Duvall because we have a left field spot. But if we have a DH spot, then we can have Ozuna and Duvall again. Duvall can play left. He's a very good left fielder, and he crushed the baseball last year. If Marcel Azuna, you know, if we need him to play left, though, we don't need Adam Duvall. We don't need both of them if there's no universal DH. So this probably is answering the question for them of who to sign back because it's not completely confirmed, but it sounds pretty likely that we will not have universal DH next year. So that for a team just right there, that really hurts them. And I know it's not just about... um you know, helping or hurting certain teams and stuff like that. It's got to be a league-wide thing. I think league-wide thing, it's good for baseball. I think last year our ratings actually seemed to go up for the most part. I'm pretty sure the Game 7 of the NLCS got higher ratings than any of the NBA Final games. And I know they were in the bubble and whatever, but I, I watched the NBA Finals. I am a Lakers fan, so go LeBron. But that's definitely why. Not definitely why. That's definitely a factor. I mean, I mean, having more offense and more excitement. People think baseball is boring. People that don't watch it or don't love it already think it's boring or slow or this or that. So having guys that can hit home runs. I mean, Marcel Azuna and Adam Duvall last year had great years. If you took one of those guys out of the lineup, the Braves are slightly less exciting. Their games are slightly less exciting. Adam Duvall had a three-run home run game this last season. That's a very exciting moment in the 2020 season that, you know, in 60 games, that's a pretty pretty big highlight for a team. And now he won't be on that team. So I think it's bad for baseball. I think it hurts specific teams, obviously, in the NL. It doesn't really affect AL batters, but it gives more guys jobs. Like and Nelson Cruz is on an AL team with the Minnesota Twins, but now that he's looking for a job as a DH, he's not going to play the outfield. Um, he, he is limited now to 15 teams, which might help him um, get more money because he's a really good DH. So he's going to be, you know, in very heavy demand with a short supply because only 15 teams need a DH. So I don't know. I don't know how this is going to work out for players. I'm assuming players like more D or a deeper DH 
with all 30 teams gives more guys open spots to go you know I can hit for you I can DH for you part of the time I can play the outfield here and there I can do whatever so it gives more you know and more versatility to the whole league as a whole so yeah I wish the DH was staying I hope this doesn't end up happening for sure but it definitely looks like it's going to happen and I'm very sad about it just a quick video today guys so hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like subscribe, turn on notifications, check out some other videos, and I'll be back with some good content coming up. Thank you.